welcome. How are you? Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to our kitchen. Tell me what you shout out and tell me what you're cooking right now in your kitchen for your lunch. So what you're doing for a late lunch. Man, you tell them. You know about this fish. I've never had this fish oh, before. This is a ham. This is a Guyana salmon. Look, the Guyanese and one of this are half of the head. This is a Guyana salmon. Guyanese fisherman, don't know what it is. Um, it's a very sweet fish when you fry it and you know use it with bread and so. And you could mix stew and so in it too. It's a fish you eat. Okay? I never actually had it, so I'm excited. My brother actually uh, gave the salmon to me, um, and he, his brother-in-law, went in the deep sea and, yeah. and and got it. So as soon as when he came in from the boat, I actually got these fish. So I can't wait to eat it. I never had it. So she's frying some here. Yeah. It's a very sweet fish. Diana salmon is very sweet. Shout out in the comments if you ever had the salmon. Shout out in the comments. Ah, yeah, you're going to keep friending or tell you yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is a favorite fish and scary. Yeah. Okay, so while she's doing that, I'll be sorting some onions because we're making some of this fish. We're frying up, and my mom is eating it with salt and rice. That's what she feel like to eat with the salmon. And for me, I'm making some stew with the rest of it, with the, with the head and the bones and so on. So I'm putting in some onions in here to saute. And this is some stew salmon. Okay, let me turn this on. So she's frying up the rest of it. So Guys, and this is some dal from yesterday, look, and I put some of the Moringa pods or side and stick or drumstick in this dal, so we have some leftover dal, and um, so we're having dal, rice, and fried fish, and some stew, um, Guyana salmon. So check out the salmon guys, I'm excited to eat this, I've, like I said, I've never yes, had it. Yeah, like cool off a little bit, like cool off a little bit, but look how good that looks, look how good that looks. My um, onion is all frying up, now I'll put some tomatoes in there. I'm also using some tomato paste. So I'm putting some fresh tomatoes also in there. The I'm also put some garlic. I'm putting some garlic. Thank you. As you're getting on, shout out and let us know what you're having for your lunch, okay? Share some of that recipe. And if it's something you would like us to cook or my mom while she's here, that's something you like to learn to cook. Let us know. Message us and she will show us how to do it, okay? So, um, shout out if you like something, something specific for us to cook. I will try to schedule it while she's here. We'll use some garlic in here now. I also like to fry up my tomato paste. Mommy, do you like to try it for tomatoes? Yeah, yeah. Let me get a gun. Um... Listen, it's so hot outside. You can't cook there. It's so so hot and we've been so busy we've been so busy exercising and then we went and get some coconuts for some of our friends who will be seeing for this weekend we're supposed to be in the florida keys key west for this weekend however um some of our appointments get pushed push forward to this week days 
So that's awesome. We'll be seeing, we'll be going and hanging out with Naz for Mother's Day and seeing some other friends and so on this weekend. So I went to look for some coconuts because we don't have, we only have so many coconuts, okay? I have one coconut farm. So I went and we found some. So check out that video that Tommy was um, getting some coconuts. Why do you like to fry up your tomato paste? This makes it taste tangier? Yeah, 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 I feel so. It makes it a little sweeter, I feel like. Just to soft it first. My grandmother did the same thing. Okay, so put some in there. Oh, that smells so yummy. Let me lower this here. And listen, um, uh, it, 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 the salt. And this is, check this out. This is a little tiny egg. So I'm going to take this out. We flash fry it and eat it on the side. Look at that. It's so little and tiny. So I'm going to take this out and put it over here. And um, mommy gonna tell you what she's having, and she's ready to tell you while my um, while my while my seasoning and everything is sauteing out there. Mommy will be showing you and telling you what she's doing. Yeah. So um, tell what you doing? Well, we was going to pick some coconut, and I sit down in the, in the car. Sandy says she's gonna make some stew, and my me and my run like to eat with salt and rice. So I go in and make some salt and rice. I have my rice here. And this, I have some onion, I have some pepper, some cucumber, some shallot, and some tomato, and I add some salt to this. Sadly, let me the oil. Okay. And put in some oil. Okay, we guy this, nobody's good, okay? My grandmother, listen. So I have some salt, some, and you got to do this with your finger. Okay. I like yeah. yellow fish. You got to do this with your some finger. Fish. And check out the fish. And mommy, she she cooked some of the fish for um, just eat it by itself, and some we've been putting in our stew. My grandmother, I used to grow up eating this so much. My grandmother used to put ripe mangoes in it and so on it's so good with the ripe mangoes you have to try it so this is we guyana for man food before um maran rice with sugar and when the mother cook you should take out a little maran rice and give it some sugar for eat okay and, and then we gonna make some salt and rice take your fish but, and try the fish but i have my fish and this i feel the jelly so this is elaine lunch what? Wow. Mm -hmm. How it look? Good, eh? You remember long time day. Guyanese. <laughs> and let me tell you, when she said that, I haven't thought of that in ages. I mean, she said it. You want it with the taste? Um, yeah, let me try a little bit. No, 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 you do it. You do. All right, let me try a little bit. Make my thing I'm born here. A little bit in one Let me give me a little bit. Mommy wants me to try a little bit. Here, just a little bit. Just a bit of salt, right, guys? All right, let me try it. Mm. Wow, lamb like this. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is a meal in Guyana. Make up your bear rice with you, salt and sauce. So. I forgot what this tastes I'm like. I'm going and eat. <laughs> wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's been so long. So much memories. I remember my grandmother right away. <laughs> a lot of people are saying they're remembering. Well, it. we grew up on this a lot because my father passed away very young. My mother had to struggle, so when she gone to work and so she come home, she makes me some salt and rice, mar and rice, and we eat till she finish cook. Okay. <laughs> 
And those are the best foods. Yeah, and it's all organic and we never get sick from those foods. So I can't wait. Let me try the salmon. Hey, let's um, let's stir this up here. Look at this, guys. Wow. Yeah, so I'm going to add a little hot water in here now. And then uh, when it comes to a boil, um, we'll be putting it in. Adding some water. When it comes to a boil, then I'll put the, I mean, uh, the fish in there. And I want it a little thick. I want, yeah, I, I want it a little thick. And the salmon is, is fully cooked, so um, that's why I want the sauce, and that's why I, I cook um, all these, all the seasoning and the tomato paste and so on first. And that's why I um, cooked all that first, because as soon as it comes to a boil, and I put that fish in, it's just like another two minutes and it's finished. And I also use some of my seasoning that I smoke and roast, some of my tomato seasoning with the ginger and turmeric for my stews. Okay, so we have some rice and put away this tomato. And let me try this fish. How is the fish, mommy? Mommy told me about this and I cannot remember ever having it. So this is the first time. So this is what the inside looks like. It's more of a darker, on the darker side of meat. And it's like texture is very thick, like, you know? Mm. Wow. Good. Wow, it's good, right? It doesn't taste fishy. It tastes more like, I don't know. Look, look at show her on the couch. Look at how she's, look at, she's in her little nest over here. <laughs> It's a medium taste of fish. I will say it's not very um, light. It's not a light tasting fish. It's more of a little stronger taste, you know? Wow, I never had it. I'm surprised with the taste. It's kind of, uh, very fantastic, very good. So I'm let, hey, Tommy, you have to try this. Let's go ahead and put this in our pot. And look, um, put some salt to taste. Check out my stew. Everything is all bubbling up there. I'll put some salt in here to taste. And now I'm gonna put my flash fried fish or my fish in here with the heads. The head and so on don't have very much meat, but it gives the um, the sauce flavors, you know? You get a tail, that's one of my favorites. The rest of the kind of fish again. And this is called the um, the Guyana salmon. salmon. This is the Guyana salmon. So Tommy, I'll leave some for you to eat, okay? Check this out, guys. Looks yummy. Tommy, you're gonna like this. And uh, we have roti to also go with this. We have oil roti or clapan roti to go with this. And now, since this is almost finished, I'm gonna put some um, cilantro and some shallows. And this is it, guys, a quick lunch. Look how yummy this looks, look. So I just leave it here for another, um, like about five minutes on its medium. And that's it guys. And I, like I said, I made the gravy a little thick so you can eat it with some cassava, like bile and fried cassava or boiled and fried, um, like dumplings or duck. You can also eat it with rice, roti, or even um, chana for my be Well, yeah, you can also use boganza beans or chana. This sauce or this stew is so good for that. And you can also use chicken this way, you can use um, shrimp this way, or any fish. Try this way, it's amazing, I love it. 
And let me know if you ever had the um. Let me know if you ever had the, what is it called? The, the a guy and his salmon. Let me know. Let me know. Man, I can't believe the salt and rice, mommy. Mm -hmm. Thank you for bringing back such great memories. Mm -hmm. And of course, I put also some of my green seasoning. But this green seasoning is everything from the garden. And um, I cooked it in the oven. I mean, the, sto the smoker outside with, the, with wood. So it tastes like the fireside. So even though we're cooking outside this, guys, when you're cooking something on the grill, throw some tomatoes on there, throw some garlic, some onions, and blend it up and just keep it. And when you're cooking inside, just put a little bit of that and it goes a long way. A little bit goes a long way. Whoa, wow, that did not break. <laughs> See? <laughs> Let me tell you, the we have two freezers and a refrigerator and still it's overflowing i don't get it i do because john cooks so much i we cook so much we love our cooking you know <laughs> selena says she did a shrimp like that yesterday oh yeah okay guys so check this out so good and when it sit all that fish and so soaked up some of that sauce so let it sit for a few minutes and then um eat some so I'm gonna let it sit, I just turn it off, and that's it. Stew, salmon, fish, and mommy is eating some salt and rice. So mommy, how is it again there? We'll say goodbye. She took over this whole back room. And we're doing laundry, so you see laundry and that, that's everywhere. That's Guyana treats over there <laughs> in Trinidad. So thank you guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you all so much for being part of our show. Thank you for being part of Sandy's Backyard Kitchen. Stay amazing, stay amazing. Now I'll go get some coconut water and sit down and eat some nice stew, stew fish with, um, I have roti and I have rice. I don't have any cassava, but cassava sounds good with it. So maybe for dinner, I might stop and go to the store and get some cassava. Stay amazing and thank you for sharing our lives and thank you for sharing our page. Leave a comment and shout out again where you're from. And good morning, good evening, good night. And thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing and being part of us. Stay amazing. See you later.